Hi, and welcome to Simultaneous Equations Part 4. Now this time we've got a set of simultaneous equations. We've thought already about can we add them together, can we subtract them to get rid of the variables, what happens if they're both negative numbers. This time we've got another challenge, because to get rid of x or y we can't subtract, we can't add them together, so we've got to think of another strategy now. Now, <clears throat> my tip is to think about what could we make a value of x and y that would help us to remove it um, as part of our solving a simultaneous equation. Now, the best way forward, I think, in this situation is look at that equation and I want to multiply it by 2. So because I'm scaling, it, it doesn't alter the sum. But what it does, it gives me 8x minus 2y equals 22. And that's the same as 4x minus y equals 11. Just take that out of your mind for a minute and let's concentrate now on what we have. And you can see straight away that this paves the way for us because if I now add these together you can see what's going to happen. The y's are going to cancel each other out and I'm going to be left with 13x equals, so add 24 and 20, uh, 4 and 22 which gives me that so straight away I can see that x equals 2. Brilliant. Okay and then well once we've got the value of x, we can then come back to our uh, equations and choose one of them and think, OK, let's have a look at this then. Let's take 5x plus 2y equals 4. So we've got 5x equals 2y, sorry, plus 2y equals 4. Now we know x is 2, so therefore 10 plus 2y equals 4. Let's change the side, change the sign. So 2y equals 4, take away 10. 2y equals minus 6. y equals minus 6 divided by 2. So therefore, y equals negative 3. So in our solving of the equations, this time x equals 2, y equals negative 3. And how did we do it? We looked for a way of creating an equation that would allow us to remove one of the variables. And that's it.